Welcome to Cues and Views, first on the web for collecting English billiard cues. Welcome to the first in a series of programmes that we are here at Cues and Views are calling Cue Splices. Um, as you know, um, we usually do videos on uh, individual topics uh, which uh, we hope you find are, are interesting but they are more lengthy. Uh, these new programmes are going to be shorter uh, little elements uh, for you to uh, enjoy hopefully uh, and we are calling them Cue Splices. Now, What's interesting about this cue collecting hobby, which uh, we're trying to encourage people to uh, take an interest in, is that the splicings of cues, which is where the dark piece of wood is usually spliced onto a lighter piece of wood, actually affects the value of cues uh, very much. And people sometimes make mistakes. Now I know we've done an earlier piece, uh, one of our shorter videos that we did uh, some time ago, uh, on identifying hand spliced and machine spliced, but still people make mistakes and I see this all the time on uh, adverts, uh, on eBay and so on, where people say hand made cues and so on and so on. The rule of thumb that you need to bear in mind, have a look at these two Fred Davis special cues. Now Fred Davis uh, was uh, the brother of Joe Davis and he won the World Snooker Championship from 1948 right until 1956. Uh, only eight times in all that in all those years. Now before he won that first championship of his, World Championship in 1948, a cue came onto the market called the Fred Davis Special Cue. Now I, again I have no definitive proof that this cue was before then, but the almost identical cue design with a splicing arrangement the same is available after that date and it's known as the champion queue and you'll notice that it says champion queue on the badge. Now to all intents and purposes these two queues are identical admittedly one's got shorter facing splice and veneers one's got longer facing splice and veneers but in actual fact they're not identical and this does affect the value so this actually affects what people are willing to pay for them. Now the one nearest to me as you will now see is machine spliced which means that the point of the splicing is pointed both at the bottom and the top. And if I rotate that cue for you, you can see clearly that it is different to its counterpart, which may play as well and you may like it more or you may like it less, but it's certainly going to be worth more money, is the hand spliced version. And again, I'll just rotate that for you so you can see it. Again, identical badge virtually identical cue, both made from ash, both the same era, the badges literally as I said before are identical, the splicing arrangements are virtually identical, but one is hand spliced and one is machine spliced. And in terms of the value, this cue, the hand spliced one, the one that's nearest to you, is probably worth up to and including three times more than its machine spliced counterpart. Uh, as we stand right now, I would say the machine splice one is worth round about anywhere between, depending on other factors, length, tip size, overall condition, whether it's had any work done on it. This cue is worth about a third what the hand spliced one is worth. Uh, and if I was selling them, I would expect to retrieve that kind of money for them. 